Alrighty. So this is going to be a reading for my Libras for July 29th through August 5th. Thank you guys so much for joining me back on my YouTube channel. We're going to go ahead and see what the energy is looking like for this week for you guys, okay? So Libras for July 29th through August 5th. Guys, please keep in mind this is a general reading, so everything I say may or may not resonate with you. Only take what does apply and let the rest fly, okay? And if you do want a personal, I do have a sale going on for the month of August 2019 where you guys can actually get a month ahead spread and see exactly what you guys may run into in the month of August. So definitely check that out. That information will be listed below. All right, Libras for July 29th through August 5th. What's going on with their love life? Libra's love life for July 29th through August 5th. Okay, so let's get into it. So Libra's for July 29th through August 5th. For a lot of you guys, you're really taking small strides towards really improving who you are as a person emotionally. Um, this could be like when you're emotionally triggered, finding some sort of new way to actually release your... Um, your emotional constraints or your emotional issues, if that makes sense. Um, another thing I am seeing for you guys this week as well for my Libras out there who have this thing where you haven't been dating for a long time due to your own choosing, of course. Um, I feel like you guys may be slowly but surely taking steps towards actually dating or actually dealing with people in an emotional sense, I should say, or tapping into that emotional side of yourself. Um, but what I will say, it is going to take some time for you to get, get to that point where you want to be at emotionally. But as long as you guys are taking steps towards improving your mental health and your emotional health, that's the most important thing. Okay. Moving beyond that, um, another thing I am seeing for my Libras out there, it is important this week when it comes to your movements that you are being very careful with just your movements, like not making decisions that are going to affect you in the long term, all right? And when I say that, this could be like you buying a house that you know you possibly can't afford in three years, or you... What else? You going back to a situation that you know is just like not good for you, okay? I just feel like this week is just really about you checking in with yourself more than anything with all relationships, decision making, all of that stuff. And just checking in with yourself as far as just your your journey. Like where do you want to be in the next three years? What do you see for yourself? And Sometimes you have to do that because sometimes you lose sight of what you're doing things for and you just wander aimlessly. So that is going to be important this week. A lot of you guys as well, um, these cards are encouraging you to really take a step towards doing things different. Like if you've been doing things the same way for some time now or you've been, you know, working in the same job for forever and you kind of are annoyed by it. There's a need for you to switch things up, you know, incorporate something new, especially if you're like a business owner, trying some abstract ways of business, you know, doing some fun, quirky things with your business to make yourself stand out and be a part. That's really what this card is about, like standing out and being apart from the crowd. And you guys really have that power if you make sure you're doing things your way. OK, hope I'm making sense. Also, for my Libras out there who are very much into social media, the universe is saying, please get the hell off of it, okay? Get off social media, take a step back, really spend time with family, spend some time working on your mental health and not allowing social media or allowing the internet to overcloud your judgment and put too much uh, frequencies in your mind, negative frequencies in your mind. 
Also, for my Libras out there who don't really engage in social media, using social media to your advantage is the best way to use social media. I always say this, there's so much information on the computer or on the internet nowadays that you can learn how to do just things that you've never been able to learn about prior to computers being around. So use the fact that we live in the information age to your advantage, okay? Especially when it comes to business practices and all of that stuff. Now, let's actually talk about your love life. And again, only take what does apply with that. With your love life, we do have forgiving and learning. And it says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Then we also have getting to know each other. And it says, as you reveal innermost, no, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And with this, um, for some of you guys, this is somebody that you're dealing with who could be possibly a soulmate. You could be trying to work things out with this person because you truly love them. But some of you guys, your self-respect is really something that you do need to put beyond anything. So if this person is not respecting you and, you know, making you a priority within the relationship, that may be a problem. But a lot of you guys will be trying to make things work with this person And for some of you guys as well, career stuff may be getting in the way, but I feel like divine timing really is at play with this relationship right now, okay? And the other card we have here, it says, deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. So very straightforward. (coughs) Whoo, I'm getting sick as I'm doing these readings. Crazy. All right, so let's go ahead and get through this. What's going on with my Libras for July 29th through August 5th? Libras for July 29th through August 5th, please. Libras for July 29th through August 5th. Libras for July 29th through August 5th. Okay. So let's get into it. So right off the bat, Libras, at the bottom of the deck, for a lot of you guys, there is some sort of opportunity that is coming your way financially. For most of you guys, for others of you, this could be in a love sense, but I'm getting more of financial Um, With this, I feel like there's a need for you to do more research on it before you make any sort of decisions. Um, Also, with this, yeah, there may be a need for you to make some some necessary um, or do some necessary research when it comes to making any sort of like financial changes, especially if this is like a new job that's being offered to you, because it may not be something that's stable or something that you can really sustain yourself with. Okay, there may be a need for you to really go within about some sort of job opportunity that may come up. For others of you, this is actually talking about a relationship. Um, This is a relationship that ended and it was really like a mess with the Tower card. Like it was just all over the place. But with the Hermit, I feel like you guys did go into your own space for some time. And this person may be trying to come back around. Um, But this person may have played a level of mind games or just done a whole bunch of stuff. Okay. But coming into this week, I do have the Four of Cups. And with this, I feel like emotionally you guys are in a space of just being dissatisfied with certain things um, or dealing with a partner who just doesn't fulfill you emotionally like how they used to. And you could be just feeling some sort of way about that. And clarifying the Four of Cups, I have the Emperor. So you could be feeling a sense of also rejection, possibly from a Taurus or a Aries. You guys also could be rejecting a Taurus or a Taurus or Aries. Um, and also for some of you guys, you could be just feeling a level of dissatisfaction with the situation that may have ended here. OK, also talking about in a work sense for some of you guys, you could actually hate your boss. Like there could be moments where you like go back and forth with your box, your boss this week. If I can talk. 
go back and forth with your boss this week and that may actually cause you guys to lose your job so be careful of that I wouldn't engage in verbal disputes too much with anybody this week okay um also with anything that you guys are dissatisfied with I feel like you guys are in control of actually fixing that um once you realize what needs to actually end before you could actually have a new beginning as far as you know things getting better but last week's energy I do have the ten of pentacles representing last week and for a lot of you guys this may have been your focus as far as your home life and your relationships possibly with the water sign for others of you possibly a fire sign or earth sign doesn't matter but with your connection with someone, you may have been really just trying to express to your person that you wanted things to be better. And I feel like you guys were on the track of actually doing that. But there may have been, again, this some instabilities or things within your foundation that you guys haven't addressed. Like, that's the problem. It's like certain things you guys haven't addressed, and that's why it's not getting better. Or at least not dealt with. You may have addressed the issues, but as far as it being dealt with, I don't know about that, okay? But when it comes to the guidance for this week, I do have the Eight of Pentacles. With this, the universe is saying focus on your work, okay? Focus on self-mastery. And if you are going to be putting work into any sort of relationship, you need to make sure you're dealing with somebody who's willing to go, go the extra mile as far as like putting work into the relationship and also making sure if you are putting work into a connection with someone, they are actually bringing something to the table and not just, I don't know, being, being distant. For others of you, you could be dealing with an Aries who's like a workaholic and you may like this person and there may be issues with this connection getting off the ground. I feel like for some of you guys, you actually have to put work into the connection for this person to actually deal with you. Or there may be someone else attached to this as well. Um, why the situation's not working. But a lot of you guys, you just need to focus on yourself right now and really go towards a new beginning. Because if you're dealing with a fire sign that you're dissatisfied with, I feel like the only thing you can do is take control of the situation and allow this situation to finally be done with instead of being upset with what's going on with the connection. I hope I'm making sense. Um, what I'm seeing for the op score issue that may come up, I do have the three of swords clarified by the world card. So this may be issues with you actually like ending the cycle or getting over the cycle of you really being disappointed or heartbroken or just going through a lot here, um, especially if there was other people attached to you or a connection. So that still may be an issue. Um, and also this may be even an issue with you guys like reconciling for some reason. <clears throat> But for the outcome of the week, I do have the five of cups. And with this emotionally, you may be kind of stuck on what happened in the past. You guys may be having a hard time getting over what happened between you and another person. Um, and you guys may be taking this focus on focusing on your family unit while this person is just being inconsistent. OK, you could also be having a Leo randomly reach out to you through communication but um I just feel like again there's issues with you guys getting over certain things within the relationship and that's the problem so that's what I'm seeing I hope that I was able to give somebody out there some sort of guidance or clarity if this did resonate make sure you like this video comment below and subscribe and if you do want a personal reading that information will be listed below <clears throat> I'm losing my voice Okay, <laughs> the information will be listed below in the description box in the comment section, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, Leos or Libras. Sorry.